Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is the third part of Qatar University placement exam uh, in algebra. Okay, question 44. I want to simplify the, this uh, trigonometric expression negative cosine square x over 1 minus cosecant x. I want to check which one of these is the answer. Is it A, B, or C, or whatever, or D, of course. First of all, I just rewrite this one. The cotan square, you know, is cosine squared x over sine squared x. Okay, and let me check other color. Divided by uh, 1 minus cosine, 1 minus cosecant. I just write it uh, cosecant x minus 1. I just multiply this sign here. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, cosine squared x over sine squared x, uh, the secant is 1 over sine, yes? Secant x 1 over sine x minus 1. Now I'll multiply up and down by LCD of numerator and denominator, which is um, uh, sine squared. I multiply sine squared here to remove the denominator and sine squared here. The answer is cosine squared x, okay? The sine squared and sine squared cancel and here I keep one of the sign outside and to multiply only one sign inside to get one uh, minus um, sine x yes one minus sine x the cosine square you know from Pythagorean theorem one minus cosine squared sorry one minus sine squared the cosine squared x is one minus sine squared x uh, from um, uh, trigonometric uh, ratio of um, or the trigonometric form of Pythagorean theorem sine squared x over sine x I have x here into 1 minus sine x okay so um, so when multiply sine inside I have only one side yeah that's a correct okay so uh, uh, um, this one here is i factor 1 minus sine x into 1 plus sine x a difference of 2 squared over sine x into 1 minus sine x 1 minus sine x was 1 minus sine x is cancelled so you have the answer 1 plus sine x 1 plus sine x over sine x so the answer here is b the graph of the function g of x, x cubed minus x over x squared plus 4 is symmetric about the origin, symmetric about the x-axis, about the y-axis, about the y equal x. Symmetric about the origin means it's odd function. Symmetric about the x is no definition for this one. Symmetric about y is an even function. And symmetric about y equal x means the function is the same as itself, as, as its inverse. So I'll check now this function, is it odd or even now? So check the function g is it other even you just calculate g of negative x okay instead of each x put negative x so negative x cubed minus a negative x over negative x squared plus 4. so negative x cubed plus x over x squared plus 4 after simplification uh, if you try to to take a negative sign common factor you have x cubed minus x in the numerator and denominator is still the same x squared plus four plus four now after making uh, after taking out the negative sign i have this function this function is the same g the function g the original one so i uh, succeeded now to write g of negative x as negative g of x this is the exact definition of the odd function this function is symmetric about the origin I mean it's an odd function. List all intervals in which the, the graph of f is decreasing. Look, the function, you look at the function from left to right. This function go going up, increasing. This is increasing. Still going up, increasing. Now this is going down. This is going increasing. This is increasing. This part that I write in blue now, is decreasing look the function going down from left to right and this part also is going down from left to right so in the part negative 1 to 0 and 1 to 2 in these two intervals of the domain the function is decreasing hey negative 1 0 and 
1 and 2. The function in this part is decreasing. Question 47. If x and y angles are both in the third quadrant, uh, you know third quadrant, both sine and cosine are negative. What is the cosine of um, x and y? You know cosine x plus y is cosine cosine, cosine x cosine y minus sine x uh, sine y. Uh, this is really the expansion of the cosine of sum of two angles. You have the uh, uh, cosine cosine x is negative 4 over 5. You adjust to draw. You can simply draw two triangles. Look. You draw simply a um, right angle for uh, triangle X and another one for uh, angle Y, two different angles. Sine negative 3 over 5, just write negative 3 over 5, opposite over hypotenuse. This is negative 4 from um, uh, Pythagorean theorem. You know the angle in the third quadrant. The x is negative and the y is negative. For this reason, the two legs of the right angle here are negative, negative 3 and negative 4. Also, the same thing for angle y, negative. The cosine, negative radical 3 over 2. By Pythagorean theorem, you get this as 1, just to make it negative because this angle also in the third quadrant. Uh, simply, you have now the angles uh, x and y, and uh, all, uh, all, uh, all trigonometric ratios, you can just uh, write it from... Um, the triangle direct. Cosine x negative 4 over 5 and cosine y is negative radical 3 over 2. Okay? Minus sine x as you see negative 3 over 5 and sine y is negative half. Simplify this expression you have 3 radical sorry no not 3 radical 4 radical 3. The answer here as just multiply up multiply down um, 4 radical 3 over 10 you have 3 minus 1, 2, 3, 3 negative sign, the answer will be negative, and 3 over 10. So the final answer, 4 radical 3, look at this one, 4 radical 3 minus 3 over 10, this one. Very easy and very simple. Given f and g two function, find the composite function. Very easy. To find the composite function, I the first function is f. Go to the f function, just to start to write it, 2, times and when you see x don't write it write the other function instead of this x okay so instead of this small x just write x squared plus one and continue write the uh, function f this is a composite function two times one minus one is zero two times x squared very easy two x squared so obtain the graph of g of x x minus 4 all squared plus 3 the graph of f of x is x squared this is called the parent function must be shifted the parent function the x is shifted x minus 4 means 4 units to right and the plus 3 means 4 units up the shifting in x axis always will be in opposite side opposite angle and but shifting in y will be the same the same uh, sign yani yeah, plus 3 means go up plus minus 3 means go 3 units down and so on so the answer here is A. Okay. Uh, which angle is coterminal? To find a coterminal angle with any given angle, just add or subtract one complete revolution. Very easy. Just add 360. You will get 660. Very easy. Uh, the number of, co of coterminal angles with a given angle is infinite number. You can pick an um, infinite number of coterminal angles with a given angle. The solution set of 1 minus cosine squared is equal to 0. Just normal equation. Uh, cosine squared x is equal to 1 so cosine x is a positive or negative root 1 so if you want to know the angles whose cosine 1 or negative 1 just to draw a unit circle the unit circle this point is 1 and 0 this point negative 1 and 0 this angle the angle here is 0 and 2 pi at the same time this angle is pi 180 so this really the one exists here the the positive one and negative one the angle whose cosine one is zero and two pi the angle whose cosine negative one as you see is pi so the answer is d zero pi and two pi very easy question you are given two uh, functions i want to find f of zero for g of one go to the first function f of zero zero minus zero plus three is three and g of one absolute value of one minus three 3 over absolute value of negative 2, which is 3 over 2. Very easy. The graph of the function cube root of x, which one? 
If you don't know the cube root of a function, you have to pick, as, as I told you before, one random point. Uh, for example, one random point, it means what? It means just to take f of 1. f of 1 here is cube root of 1 is equal to 1. So this point pass through 1 and 1, this function, sorry. So this one is wrong, this one is wrong, because 1 and 1 here. 1 and 1 here is not on the function. But here, yes, I have 1 and 1 here, and 1 and 1 here. Now, which answer? Is it C or D? The answer is C. Why? You can, by using calculator, pick another point, for example, 4 or 5. Look, or 2, maybe. The 2 here, look. The function of 2 here is what? Look, about 8. This is x cube function. Because 2 power 3 is equal to 8. This is the correct answer, as I told you, C. Because the cube root of 4 is about something like 1.6, 1.7, something like that. Okay? This function is really a linear, lin function. The log function always has this form coming like this, down, down, and go up, batting it through the one, and going like this, increasing, but slowly, like this. This is the log function always coming this way. The other functions are incorrect. The 1 over x squared function, it has curves like this. The two curves going like this. This is the x squared function. Okay? 1 over x squared function. 2 power x is the exponential function. Always go like this. Okay? Negative 1 over x. Negative 1 over x is a two branches function like this. This is negative 1 over x. Shifted 1 units up. Something like shifted 1 units up. No problem. So the only uh, correct answer is ln x or log x. If sine x is negative 4 over 5 and cosine x is negative, less than 0 means negative, then sine to x is what? The sine is negative and cosine is negative, this really a third quadrant. Just to go to the third quadrant and draw an, um, like a triangle like this, consider this angle x. Okay, this really the angle x. But I take this uh, x as a small angle x indicator to find the sine and cosine of or in general trigonometric ratios of the given angle. So a uh, sine is negative 4 over 5, negative 4 the opposite over the hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem you get this one negative 3. Uh, now uh, I want to find the sine to x. Um, sine to x you use um, the expansion of sine double the angle which is 2 sine x cosine x. You have to know this formula, it's very easy and very famous also. 2 times sine x as you see is negative 4 over 5 and the sine x is negative 3 over 5. Final answer is 2 times 4, 8 times 3, 24 over 5, uh, 24 over 25. This one. In which uh, quadrant 10x is, uh, is um, sine x over? This is a very good question. Just write sine x over square root of 1 minus sine, uh, sine squared x is cosine squared x. So, uh, sine x over root cosine squared is cosine. I just take a positive root here because we don't have an, we don't have that 10x cannot be negative 10x like this. No, we don't have like that. Only, only angle 0. 10, 0 is negative 10, 0 because 10, 0 is 0. But, and the coterminal angles are 0, of course. But here, I have to take the positive root of cosine squared. And cosine squared is positive only in the first and fourth equation. So sine x is equal to a uh, tan x is equal to sine x over cosine x is uh, if the angle is um, in the first or uh, third uh, quadrant. Uh, sorry, fourth equation. Okay. Which of the following function is one to one? This cube function is one to one. Any function like absolute value of x plus one, like this one. Uh, drawn for me is one. Th this function and the x squared function is called the many to one. Uh, the e over x squared is also many to one uh, because this is x squared. And then absolute value of x also is many to one. So the only function x cube is one to one. It means uh, 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 when you draw a function and by using the horizontal, uh, um, if you are given a function drawn and ask you is it one to one or not, just to draw a horizontal test. If the horizontal line test always crosses x-axis in all points of the domain in one point, it's one-to-one. -one. But look here, 
when you draw a horizontal line test here, cross the angle the angle in two points. Look here, two points of intersection. This is each of these two function is called many to one. Means many values of x goes to the same value of y. That's the meaning. Using the given graph, using the function has which of the uh, of the function has two real rules, zeros or roots. This is no real roots, no intersection with x axis. This is three real roots, one, two, three. Two real roots here. Look, two points of intersection. Here only one point of intersection with x axis, one real root. Okay, the graph of the inverse of the function. Very easy question. Look, this function, just write a couple of points, 1 and negative 2, okay? This point is uh, 0 and uh, negative 3, for example. Another point like this one, negative 8 and negative 5. If you want to pick the inverse function, pick the function that has the inverse of these points. Uh, I mean, switch this point. Negative 2 and 1. Where is the negative 2 and 1 here? Negative 3 and 0. Where? This one, this one, this is the inverse function. Look, this point is negative two and one, negative three and zero, switch, switch x and y. Negative five and negative eight, this point is negative five and negative eight, look. So this is the inverse function. The graph of the function f is given by this one, which of the following, the graph of uh, uh, f of x, one minus f of x. This, if you rewrite the new function, this is really negative f of x plus 1. The f of x now affected by multiplying a negative sign by it. Any function multiplied by negative 1, it means you have to uh, reflect um, the, the given function in, in x-axis. In x-axis. This point here, this point, negative 3 will be here. This point and negative 2 will be here and 2. Okay, and this point will be here. This point now is, this function is negative f of x now. It shifted up one unit just to going up one unit, one more up. This is the new function. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. You have to pick the point that pass through three and four. Where is it? Three and four. This one. Okay, this is the answer of the whole revision. Thank you so much. I hope everyone to get uh, the full information from this revision. Thank you so much and see you next time. Goodbye.